There's an interesting conversation happening right now on our Care 11 Facebook page about microchipping. I'm not talking about microchipping your cat or your dog. I'm talking about microchipping you. All right, each week we post an episode of the show. It's called An Imperfect Union. It brings two people together who disagree about something. And this week they focused on microchipping humans. Transhumanist and biohacker Zoltan Ishvan this guy you see there, he seems to think it's a technology that's moving mankind in the right direction. Well, I would say the biggest worry right now about microchipping is really somebody hacking into your chip and altering your life. We've always worried about new technologies. If they're convenient, if they're functional, then let's go with them. All right, so this guy, he uses this microchip for a lot of things. He no longer needs to carry around any keys or remember any of his passwords. And he even said he wants to microchip his children so he can keep tabs on them, as many parents probably would like to do as well. However, privacy advocate Michelle Demoy, she's not sure it's a good idea. So a lot of times when you have technology that's sort of new-ish, um, the uses of it change. Maybe you have a login microchip so when you c come to work it logs you in. But the problem is a lot of times the data that's then collected starts to get used for other things. All right, so our Sunrisers, you guys had so much to say about it. Here are some of the comments coming into the newsroom. Kathy says she's on the fence with this topic. She says it should be completely voluntary. Parents, if they did it, they would assume control of their children until they're 18 years old. But she brings up finding missing people. Maybe uh, it could help there. Another one from Chris saying uh, that it should be your body, your choice if you want to go for it, but he's not one to do so. And then Jim says, we all already carry cell phones or have smart watches and GPS in our vehicles. They always know where people are. I did just get two more, you guys, uh, on my Twitter page. If you ever want to comment, uh, tweet at me. Zach says, mandatory chipping for any sort of sex offenders or kidnappers, uh, violent criminals. And then Tony says he wants to microchip his wife. Oh. oh. Tony, I think there's a deeper story there. Yeah, yeah. Tony. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, I don't know. I want to know that story, actually. <laughs>